Video showing a woman panhandling around the Sacramento area with her infant in her arms is causing concern among community members tonight. I'm appalled by this behavior. I think it's it's criminal that you 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 treat a, an infant like that. Well, the woman has been spotted from Citrus Heights to Roseville and everywhere in between. And several CBS 13 viewers have reached out to us, fearing that the baby's life is in danger. So we sent Angela Greenwood to ask police if there is anything they can do about it. She joins us live in Citrus Heights getting answers. Angela. Well, Tony and Christina, this certainly looks and sounds dangerous, but police tell us on the surface this may not be criminal. Still, many worried that this woman is putting a baby's life at risk as she begs for money. This is a dangerous situation. Begging for money in the hot sun. No, it was 101 degrees. And carrying a newborn baby. I thought the baby was fake at first. Many worry this panhandler is endangering an infant's life. I can't imagine that that's a safe way to handle a kid. To get more cash. Using it as a prop, she would come up and kind of coddle the baby to you a little bit. This man ran into the woman at a Safeway shopping center in Orangevale last week and says the baby was dressed in winter clothing and appeared to be flushed and lethargic. The way that she was holding it looked so careless. Also a concern in Folsom where one shopper questioned the behavior. I, I don't I don't find that this is a safe thing for you to do with a newborn baby. The woman responded only saying she does have a home to live in and then quickly walked away. Many witnessing her hop into this white van currently registered to an unknown address in Folsom. I'm appalled. I'm appalled by this behavior. I think it's it's criminal. But according to police, it may not be. It's not unlawful to take a child out and out in public. Citrus Heights PD did respond to a call for a welfare check of the infant at the Safeway Shopping Center on Sunday, but when officers arrived, the woman was gone. They say without seeing the baby, it's hard to say if the woman could be charged with child endangerment. And honestly, we, we haven't had enough information uh, with the adult female to determine uh, what her situation is. Many say the situation is clear. How can a little baby survive that? And they hope it doesn't end tragically. This is a child's life. Now, we did pass along the license plate information to the Citrus Heights Police Department, which tells us it will continue looking into this. One woman also telling us that she filed an official report with CPS and was told the department will look into the claims. Officials there, though, could not confirm that with us. It is a tiny baby. Okay, Angela, thank you. We received this story from a viewer tip. If you have a story idea, just let us know. You can use Twitter, Facebook, or send us an email to news at cbs13.com.